still in bed. Sanka, you dead man? Yep, he's dead man. Just gonna do myself a brew. Hopefully that sun will burn this cloud away. Right. So it's uh, well, uh, nine o'clock now. I just hear Gav emerging from his tent like a fresh morning turd. Uh, talking of which, Adam in Hamlet's just left me a voice message. He said he's never felt worse in his life, <laughs> and he's currently stood in a queue waiting outside the toilet to turn himself inside out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so God knows what shape he's going to be in when we meet him in a bit. How are you feeling, Gav? Not too bad. Not too bad, he said. In a disgruntled voice. Here she comes. We have to be dead quiet now. It's the birth of a Gav. He slowly tucks his head out once just to make sure his surround is all right. This is a decoy tactic. They put their boots out to attract predators. Now, if there was any predators in the area, they would have gone straight for them boots and Gav would have stayed in that tent. He's left it long enough now. He'll probably... That's it. Here he comes. There he goes. There he goes. He's fledging. He's fledging. There he goes. Oh! They walk almost instantaneously. There we go. There we go. He's just finding his feet. Finding his feet. There he goes. There he goes. And there. Off he goes. The fledgling of the rear Gav. Right, Gav. So, we had a really good tea yesterday. Um, no, no hangovers on our part, but like we said, Adam's hanging out of his arse, and I'm not sure what Paul's like yet. I haven't heard of him, uh, or Mark, or Darren, but we'll, we'll find out in a bit. Uh, we're in no rush to go anywhere this morning. We are going to take a walk to the castle later on today, but I'm waiting for everyone to get their faculty together, so hence why we just decided to let's make a fire. Anyone know what this is? There's a building up there and there's like what appears to be a massive stream of shitty piss split a hundred foot out of it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. But it's, it's going, that's one hell of a pressure to get that going like that though, isn't it? It's probably what Adam's arse looked like earlier. That is Adam's arse right, right now, yeah. That is Adam, you see. <laughs> right, we're going to do some breakfast. Uh, sausage McMuffins. Oh, I said McMuffins again. Can you say Mickle Muffins, do you think? Or is it, it is a brand name, isn't it? It's probably some kind of trademark in infringement. Yeah, okay, yeah. So duck muffins, as we said before. Um, yeah, let's get on with it. <laughs> Titanium stone. Fucking Hulk there.
Right, so we're taking them all down to see the other guys now, see if they're alive or not. Um, and then see, what, see if they're up for doing the walk. Uh, we're all packed up and ready to go for the day. Gav, how are you feeling? How are you doing? You alright? Uh, any bad heads? No? no? I heard Adam's not feeling too... Sorry, do you mind camera or...? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, Adam's feeling quite bad apparently, so we're going to go down and check on him now because we're all supposed to be walking up to the castle. I but know, I said to him, I'm ready. Nine o'clock start. He was like, no. <laughs> yeah. Have, oh, you have met him this morning, have you? Yeah, I saw him oh. earlier. Yeah. How is he doing? He's a bit red in the eye. All <laughs> oh, right, that's to be expected by none, so. Okay. All right, we're out on the walk. Uh, we left campsite, took uh, left up the lane and walked for quite a long, long time until we found this footpath, which is actually going towards the castle, which is what we need. Um, out of everyone who was supposed to turn up, I think it would have been about seven or eight of us, uh, it is me, Gav. Oh yeah, it's just us two. Uh, the rest of them are uh, very badly. Update. We've just had a little break by here, what we think is an ancient burial chamber, ground hunt mount of some sort, and there's some dogs now barking at us, so uh, uh, we'll make a move. Uh, we're going to head up to the area and take a good view spot of the castle with a beer. So join us. Pete, up by there, he's walking off now. Um, he's doing a bit of photography, having a wander around, and uh, he's going to check out the channel. So, hi Pete, nice to meet you. Uh, we're going to head up to by there, where there seems to be some sort of little ruins or quarry leftovers, and we're going to have a beer. Seen well that earned beer. A well earned beer indeed. Right then, after you. Steep, ho <laughs> ho! I'm storming her head on. Whew. Loving my new shoes. The waterproofing on them is excellent so far. So, thank you, North Face. Don't know why I'm thanking them, I paid for them. Such a beautiful place. Gavlar. Gezla, Archbishop Gesmond Tutu. Archbishop of Banterbury. Look at that. Yeah, should we go up onto that yeah. hump over there? This is an old quarry. Very old one. It's beautiful.
Right, so we just had a break now. Nice little spot actually. Medic! So Gav's already back home, tucked up, happy, safe and sound. The butcher's just turned up, so I've just got some uh, lovely produce from the butcher. I'll show you now, sir. I shall show you now. Right, so just uh, been to the butchers, like I said, and um, I'm really happy with what I got from them. I, uh, I had a tenner, I said, look mate, I'll just, I just want a tenner's worth, so slap in there while you can. And uh, to be fair, they put in there, uh, everything they could, they give them um, four butchers pork sausages, two fresh steaks, and a sirloin steak as well. So Gav, if you want, you can have a burger and two sausages. I might, uh, well, I'm going to cook it all anyway. Cook it all, I'll put away what I can. And, uh, so I'm really happy with that, really happy with that. Uh, I've also got a little pastrami to eat as well, which I just have to fit all this in somehow. Right. Let's get on with it, let's get the fire going. What have you got? Well, I've got a pot noodle. <laughs> and I've got some some uh, hot dog sausages. I'm really worried now that you're boiling water next to me. And I'm bringing them in a wrap. And it's elevated. And I didn't know, if I had known he was coming back with all that meat, I wouldn't have done any of it. Well, you knew I was getting meat. Yeah, I didn't know you'd come back with all that. Well, I didn't know I'd come back with all that. Back with the steak. I didn't know I'd come back with all that. I didn't know. I just said, there is a ten to make, give me what you can. So that's what he did. Yeah, but in the meantime, I made all this shit food. Well, don't eat your sausage and meat and burger, which I'm offering you anyway. <laughs> Music's really ruining this week's video, I but can't find your um, penis. Um, absolute mountain. Beautiful. How was your walk? Really good. good mate, yeah, really Gavo. Yeah, man. You can almost see it. It's, uh... Did you go to the castle? No, but we went as far. 
So I'm doing a paella now, guys. Yeah, I think so. Oh, mate, you're welcome to have some if oh, you want. I've, I've had it. I've had my tea. Have you? I've loads of mashed potato. I just bought 10 quids worth of meat from the butchers. They give me a sirloin steak as well. Mint that, innit? I don't know if I'm going to eat it. But, um, do you want a sirloin steak? No, I'm alright though. Oh, no, okay. Cheers, though. So, Adam's uh, just come out to join us for a bit and uh, he just told us that uh, a Chinese couple have just crashed into his car parked in the field down there. Yeah, my <laughs> car was parked up where it's been parked along with all the other parked cars and uh, walked out the toilet after a nice number two and um, just literally watched him reverse. I look, look at it, like slow motion. I, he got out of the car, says, that's my car. He says, oh, and then he just looked at his car. I'm like, what? If this weekend couldn't get any weirder. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We're here for a good time, not a long time. Balls to care. Yes, I was <laughs> Yeah, he's stuck in Wales now. Enjoy the walk. That didn't sound like you did, but yeah. I just I was I want to say something while you're filming. I just want to say to all the viewers, big shout out Gav, because um, I know he's the man who does mainly all the editing and all the filming and that. And Gez needs to do a bit more, in my opinion. But overall, <laughs> good channel. Bellin. Bye, Adam. See you later, mate. I'll uh, I'll see, don't see you for a week. I'll see you for a winter. All right. All right, love. Try, love. Boys in Woods Club. All right, love. Ciao. Ciao. Right, Ciao. <laughs> no, that's just one of ours. Right, tell her. We'll be down the horse and trotter. Tell her, love. He's never gonna get over. Da da da
Another one win night down is a hammer. Ooh. This is 207. Oh. And oh. 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 Adam. Gav. I keep forgetting there's two Adams. Adam. In the wild. Mark. Darren. Go in. <laughs> Can I actually say, because I say this off camera all the time, and I've never said it on your camera. Boys in the Woods. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The best channel on YouTube. <laughs> I can't see any other outcome than that. It is the best channel. I'm not going to argue. Boys in the Wood could start an OnlyFans tomorrow and they'd be, fucking, they'd be rich like Kerry Katona, mate. If anyone's going to do an OnlyFans. Right, so uh, you had this review last night, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. Band, yeah. yeah. Lovely. They are good. I know. I know them. I know them well. Uh, this is going to be probably very difficult. Do you take the crest? Time to say goodbye. You were as confident that time, right? <laughs> right then, so I'm going to get started. And I am going to be totally honest with you, right? Because I've never said this before. I um, don't like my job very much. And I'm not very good at it. And I don't really bother to learn songs properly. But I got my iPad and I read the lyrics a lot of the time. And I'm just saying, but I got no Wi Fi. So I got no lyrics. So, so, the majority of what I'm going to sing is probably not going to make any sense. Because um, I do. You know what? It's all right. Come in, come in mate. I think I just woke him up. <laughs> so we're gonna get started. Have you got any requests? Could be a lot. Well. It's about as Welsh as I can get is Bonnie Tyler or Shirley Barsi. Yes! Yeah. Oh, like, Shirley Barsi! Oh. Charlotte Church! <laughs> Charlotte Church, who said that? <laughs> Shirley Church! Disgusting! <laughs> She's not Welsh. <laughs> If I go shopping with him in Asda, he's like, it's not time. <laughs> 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 yeah. He's not coming in. He's doing all in. Shame. <laughs> and then I go and pick him up from school, and I'm like, are you babe? He's like, oh, man, stop. Are you shaming me? And I'm like, I know the one around Asda. It's like, ah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> kids are bare legs. No offence. You may not do it. For kids these days, you don't know how good it was back in the 80s and 90s being a kid. Yeah. 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 And do you know what you were clapping for? You were a kid in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> joking, I'm not joking. I haven't got my glasses on, I can't see that far. <laughs> Where are you two from? <laughs>
Good morning, it's a Sunday morning. Both up. I've been up since like half five, six. Gav's just getting up now, I think. What's the time, Gav? It's about seven, isn't it? Yeah. Seven. So, yeah, we're just going to pack up gently, have a cup of coffee, make our way out of here. It's the last battery now, so I'm not sure I can film that sunrise. Uh, we will try and say goodbye to all the guys down there, but it is quite early. And, uh, not sure if we should wake him up or not, even though Paul's been sleeping since about three o'clock yesterday afternoon. All right, the kings themselves are back with us. Yes, I <laughs> Still alive, still breathing. Still alive, still breathing. So, yeah, I won't see what happened last night, but it was a bit of a mad one for Paul. <laughs> <laughs> In a very different way than how we all had a bit of a mad one. But yeah, it's been a fucking awesome weekend, guys. It's really, really good. It's well. been great. Been so glad to meet you for finally after talking yeah. for a couple of years. Adam, it's been a pleasure seeing you again, mate. And you, brother. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having and hopefully me. we're going to see each other again in a yeah, month's time. Yeah, definitely. Have to get yourselves up to Cumbria for a camp. I just certainly your, will. Uh, I just, certainly will. I just finished by saying this one who does all hard work. I'll give it a minute. Damn it. Thank you. Boys right. on the wood. Nice to be appreciated. We'll do it again. Catch you on the next one, guys. Yes, our boys. See you again. Bye-bye.